Hello, this is Coach Russell. We're starting our online learning today, uh, Monday. Just a little bit about it. I'm sure you've heard this from the other AP teachers. They have decided to make the AP exams open note and open book, and that's straight out of the mouth of Trevor Packer, the head of College Board. Um, and a lot of us have been discussing what this is going to look like, uh, you know, and our decision is that, that they're going to give you three essay questions, and they're worth... Um, well, there's three essay questions. They're going to give you 45 minutes to do them. So you get 15 minutes an essay question. And we think we think they're going to be like problems in, you know, what they call um, SAQs or FRQs. And so um, what we think they're going to be is we think they're going to be pretty hard. So you can't just sit there and look up the answer and get everybody get 100 percent. And we think that the College Board is going to do what they do every year or seem to do, which is norm these exams or average them, so about 55% of the kids pass. So a lot of you never had me for AP World or AP European, but here's a story I always tell my kids. These two guys go camping in this area and they're warned that uh, there's this dangerous bear that, that lives there, but you know, typical stupid campers, they decide to go camping there anyway. So lay, they're laying there in their pup tent one night at about two o'clock in the morning, it's a very moonlit night, they hear this loud roar and they go running outside and there's this huge bear running across the meadow at him. Well, one of the guys stops and starts putting on his tennis shoes. And the other guy says, you idiot, you don't think you can outrun that bear, do you? And he says, I don't need to outrun that bear. I need to outrun you. And so I've used that analogy for years. They're probably, what they're going to do is probably curve the exam. And so if you want to get a passing grade, and I hope most of you do, what you need to do is do better than everybody else. So that's what we're going to be doing this year, trying to review and make sure our kids come in ahead of everybody else's kids. Um, we're, uh, we only have uh, like four or five modules of the stuff that's going to be on the test that we haven't covered. We're going to cover all that this week, and we're going to review pretty hard. What we're probably going to do is FRQs only. There's not going to be any more multiple choice. <clears throat> I might give you some just to let you practice with. Get, you know, make sure you understand the concepts, but it's all going to be essay. <clears throat> so probably what we're going to be doing, we're going to try this this week, is probably be doing essays just like we did before on Wednesdays and Fridays. And what we'll do is I'll bring about eight of you in at a time and do a Zoom chat. And I know you can't download Zoom on your computers, but as long as I have a copy and invite you, you can participate in a Zoom chat. So I'll have about eight of you at a time in uh, a Zoom chat and I'll give you your essay questions. And what you'll do right in front of me, you know, you will on video, you will take out a piece of paper and answer the questions. And then you'll either take your phone or your computer and take a picture and email it to me. So I can, you know, tell that you did it. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how this works. And so we'll still keep up our pattern of probably doing essays once or twice a week. I'm gonna have your first lecture ready in about three hours probably about lunchtime, but I'm going to give you a short homework assignment first. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can email me, but you're going to start getting your videos and assignments a little bit later on today.